So thanks again for joining this webinar, Reputation Management During Tax Season, which it is tax season. And I want to talk a little bit about the long-term benefits of client reviews and your online reputation. My name is Keith Washington. I'm the VP of Products here at CPA Site Solutions, and it's our goal at CPA Site Solutions to help you achieve measurable firm growth through digital marketing. And so we really want to make sure that we help you get more clients. And one of those components is online reviews. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of online reviews, um, maybe how to generate more positive client reviews, how to respond to negative reviews. And then I'll talk a little bit about some of the offerings that we have to help you, some of them included with your current website package. If you uh, have been in business or work with someone who has a firm and has been in business for a long time, you may hear this or you may think this, and I, I hear this all the time. I get all of my business from referrals, so I really don't care about reviews or online uh, reputation because all of my business comes from referrals. And that is true that 70, 60 to 80 percent of New business comes from referrals, but I want to talk to you about what that means in terms of referrals in this new digital age. Here's another one that I hear a lot. All of my clients love me, so I never get any negative reviews or no one ever says anything bad about my firm. And I hear that sometimes, and I just makes me wonder, are you really aware and hope that you become aware of how your firm, how your business is perceived online? And secondly, are you proactive in pro promoting your business online through reviews? Most, if not all of you, have a website. You may do search engine optimization. You may do paid advertising. You may do a number of things. But if you think about digital marketing, one of the key pieces of it is your online reviews. Because if you think about this, really, clients are talking about your firm online. It may be your clients that are talking about your firm. It may be people who know people who are talking about your firm. And prospective clients look to see what they're saying. Here's some data that hopefully will help you understand the importance of online reviews. Over 90% of consumers use reviews to determine if a business is good or bad. And good or bad is really a um, really interesting term in terms of reviews. And I'll talk a little bit about that. Over 70% of customers don't take action until they've read reviews. This really speaks to this concept of I get all my business from referrals. Because even if you get a lot of your business from one client referring another or another prospective client, here is what people do today. If I need a CPA firm, I need, I actually need someone to do my taxes, and I'm talking to a friend and say, well, I really need someone to um, take over my taxes or take over the accounting for my business. And they say, you know, really, I've used Jones CPA firm for a long time. Um, I really recommend them. You should use them. Well, that is a great referral. But what I do is take that information and what customers do is take that information, go online, look at their website, I look at Jones CPA's website, and then I read the reviews. And this really compelling that even though someone that I trust gave me a recommendation, what I see online has a major impact on what I think about my decision to choose Jones CPA. In fact, only 3% of people, buyers, say that reviews never factor into their buying decisions. 97% of people think no and say that my buying decision or my choosing of a firm is based on reviews or has a factor based on reviews. 95% of people read an online review before making a purchasing decision. And you do that too, if you really think about it. If Even if someone tells you you should try something, you always go to the Amazon review section or the Google review section or the Yelp review section. And so it really is important what people are saying about your business. Here's some more information about online reviews. 94% of customers say an online review has convinced them to avoid a business. That's really important. Because even if I got a referral or even if I've seen your um, website or even if I know about your firm, 
if I see something bad about you in a review, I, I may just decide not to choose you. And you won't know that, by the way. You just you won't see that person ever show up on your radar. A lot of people think that the only reviews that matter are Yelp or in the accounting space, what some accounting sites say. But really, if you think about it, it's come down to this Google and Facebook, a number one and number two for online reviews. 63% of consumers check Google. As a matter of fact, since I'm doing a search on Google, my ability or my, my desire to check for your Google review is pretty much obvious because that's the first review most people see. But as social media is growing and as Facebook is growing as an advertising channel and a communication channel, reviews on Facebook are now becoming important. Here's something that's interesting. Consumers do expect businesses to respond to reviews and are mostly, most of the time, disappointed. Over half of people expect a response to a review that they put online. And almost two thirds of them say they didn't get a response. That's a pretty big number because I've put in the effort to leave a review, whether it's positive, which you should must respond to, or negative, which by the way, you must respond to. And I'll talk a little bit about responding to both positive and neg negative reviews. 80% of consumers say their star ratings they trust most are a four, a four and a half, and five stars in that order. They trust a 4.0 much more than they trust a five-star review. And that's pretty, pretty important. But if you have a 3.5 rating in reviews from Google or from Yelp or from Facebook, you would think, well, three out of five isn't really that bad. But really, if you have less than a 4.0 review um, rating on your review sites, then you could potentially be losing new clients. Here's probably the most important reason that reviews are important to your business, and that is reviews affect your search rankings, fair or not. Um, search engines, especially Google, their algorithms are designed to try to match up solutions to people's problems and questions. If I type something in Google's search engine or Bing search engine or Yahoo search engine, their algorithms are designed to try to find the best match for me. And when I am trying to find an accountant or a bookkeeper or a CPA or an enrolled agent or a tax professional, Google is going to display first what it considers to be the best result and a firm's review and their profile views, meaning how many people look at their profile, are some of the top factors that determines whether or not your firm will show up high in that search. So the higher the average star rating that you have, the better perceived the business will be. It's really Google trying to make sure that this is a perfect match. These are the companies that if you're looking for a company that you should look at. There was a study done, and by the way, it's not easy for us to know exactly how Google or any of the other algorithms or search engines work. They try to keep that information you know, secret. However, a study found that if you just have a half-star improvement in your online rating, it makes a business 30 to 50% more likely to be fully booked during peak times. That's really important. I saw a firm just the other day who was complaining about their ranking, and when I looked, very interesting, and I think I'll show you, an, maybe not an example of this, but very interesting that their website was getting a lot of traffic. Their website and, and their rankings of their website was on page one, but if you look at their review, they had a 3.0 rating, and the first review was love this business, but the second review on the list when you look at reviews, stay away from this firm. They are crooks. Well, that's a terrible, there's no way that well, no matter what you do on your website, no matter what you do in terms of marketing, you can overcome that just by hoping that goes away. Here's, an, here's, here's just, a, just a representation so you know what I'm talking about. If I look for CPAs in Carlsbad, California, that's a um, city in San Diego County, um, the first thing I see, if there are no paid ads, because I would see paid ads above it, is these three locations, Littleton, Littleton Wynn CPA, 
Klein Jeffrey CPA. And the thing is that Google will put those on the top because they have 5.0 ratings and they put nice bubbles so that you know exactly where they're located. So it's really important that you have a better review ranking, especially on Google, especially on Facebook, and then on Yelp because people use Yelp a lot. And everywhere else, your business may be listed. Better review rankings equal more clients. I hope that that is clear in that 13, 10 minutes that I do, that I talk about it. So now how do I generate more positive client reviews? And it's really important for you to know how to do that. And I've, we've already talked about that. More than 70% of consumers say that positive reviews make them trust a local business more. So if you have positive reviews, I have a chance of trusting your business. And please remember that I am looking online. I am looking online to verify, even if I have a referral, that your business, that your firm is something that to be trusted. Trusted. Showcasing, if you put a lot of online reviews, it communicates, whether they be good or some of them not so good, it communicates that you, first of all, have a lot of clients and that people trust you. And two, you, you're not afraid to put yourself out and you're not hiding from anything. So one review from your mom or from your spouse is not going to do it. You really have to be focused on getting more reviews. And in the peak, peak of tax season, one way that you can do it, um, this is the time to do it. You have close relationships with clients, clients that you've been with for 10 years or more sometimes. Ask them to help you generate more positive reviews, and I'll give you some specific ideas how. And, and, and I want to point out, um, it, I remember 15, 20 years ago that people were, uh, accountants and financial advisors were taught how to ask for referrals. If you guys remember, we were all in classes on how to ask for a referral. How can I get a referral? And there were certain things that we learned and not being afraid to ask for a referral. The same applies with online reviews because an online review is a referral. It really is. It's, it's your trusted partner, your client putting out to the world, especially to potential other clients. This is a firm to be, uh, to be trusted. I just want to go back to this um, little example again and something that stood out to me and something that I look at um, that even though these two firms have 5.0 star reviews and remember four is better, 4.5 is better, 5.0 is sometimes not believed, but worse than that, there are only two reviewers of one of these CPA firms and five of the other. That's not good enough. You want to have more reviews being posted so that you can show that I am a firm that really can be trusted, that's popular, that is, is, is talked about in the online world. And the more that you have that, the more potential clients you're going to get. So ask for it. Most times to get a positive review, all you have to do is say, I'd like you to leave me a review. And you don't have to do it personally. You're not sitting there and you're finishing up your business with your client for the day and say, oh, by the way, I need you to leave me a review. Let's do that here. You want them to do that on their own time, especially never use the same computer to do reviews. But you can send them an email. Thanks for using our firm. I really appreciate working with you this year. Um, I'd like you to rate your experience. And I'll talk about if you're a CPA Site Solutions member, how we make that easy. But use email or use text to ask clients for a review following their appointment. There are a number of reasons for doing that, for being proactive and asking for reviews rather than waiting for reviews. Some firms place signs in their office. So you can post a physical sign, something that's professional, but make sure that they know how important reviews are to your business. And people who are loyal to you, they're happy to share their experience, just as happy as they are to refer your business to someone someone who's using it. By the way, you may think that people may not like doing reviews, but clearly they do because there are millions and millions of reviews all over the place. There's some people who do it, you know, no matter, you know, every day or anytime they stop anywhere. But for the most part, if you ask and you're talking to people who are loyal clients, you can ask them to leave your review. It's really, how did I do for you? By the way, that feedback loop is important to you as well. If you have a staff, make sure that you train them. One way that you can you know, make sure that you're not in the, 
um, referral or review businesses, train your staff to ask clients about their experience. If they say, hey, you know, that, that, that was a good appointment. So if, you you know, they're leaving and, or you're scheduling another appointment, just say, you know, just, just checking in. You know, Mr. Jones wants to make sure, Mrs. Jones wants to make sure that your appointment was, went well. Was, was, was the experience okay? Well, sure it was. Well, would you mind? I um, just invite you, if I send you a quick email, if you can leave a review. And by the way, if they said, well, it was okay. Well, this is an opportunity for someone on your staff to either alert you or to find out what the problem is right there to keep a client from leaving a bad review. Your staff and you sometimes always know whether or not, most of the time know whether or not a client is not happy with you. It's not true that all clients love you, but you should know that right away and deal with it before they go online to share their experience. And more and more people are really happy to go online and share their experience. Another way you can do it, and I'll again show you how to do this in your CPA Site Solutions website, is for you to be able to leave a review, um, ask them to leave a review right on your website. And I'll talk to you about how, if you're a customer of, of ours, how that can benefit you and how you can really see the value of reviews right on your website. Sometimes you get negative reviews. Sometimes people don't say nice things. Um, about your firm, maybe they had a bad experience. Sometimes, by the way, you may have written bad reviews of a restaurant or an auto dealership or any other business that you worked with. 95% of customers reported sharing even mildly bad experiences with others, both online, by the way, or otherwise. It used to be I would sit around the table and talk to my friends about an experience that I had with a, you know, a particular provider, but now I may do that online compared to 90, 87% who like to share positive experiences. What that means is people are more likely to share negative experiences than, than they are positive experiences. But however, if a company replied to their review, 70% of them changed their opinion about that company, that brand, after the reply to the review. So here are some best practices, and by the way, 70% of consumers, some of them, most of them are willing to communicate their change in opinion online. As an example, I really didn't like this firm. They messed up my tax return or they messed up my system and I don't recommend them. The first thing, and I'll talk about how you respond to that, but if you respond to them in a way that is positive, that hopefully solves their problem, what you can also do is say, I noticed that you left a review. Would you mind changing that review or better yet, taking that down? Now, you don't always have to have these tough conversations, but someone on your staff or on your team can and should. You want to make sure that you're responding to negative reviews. So here are some best practices when responding to negative reviews. Number one, you have to do it fast must do it fast. If I contact a company or leave a review on my face on your Facebook page, I really expect a response within 30 minutes. 32 30% 30 of them expect the response within 30 minutes, 40% expect the response within 60 minutes. Raise your hand to yourself if you actually don't know if people are leaving reviews on your Facebook page or on your LinkedIn page. You may not even know that people are sending you information on those outside review sites. Responsiveness improves the perception of quality and shows that you care. And if you respond right away, and if you engage right away, people are less likely to leave negative reviews, especially if they know that you're gonna respond right away. A lot of people just wanna vent on social media sites or on online because maybe they had a bad experience or maybe they were they they just you know weren't happy with what happened that day and if they had taken the time to just think about it imagine that someone in your firm leaves a bad review and you respond to them in a polite way i'm sorry that you had a bad experience please contact me well the next person doesn't want to contact you i just want to vent they're less likely to leave a negative review the next person Number two, as I just talked about, you have to be positive. Please don't say, well, you know, the reason why 
you had a bad experience is because you're a terrible client. Your books are terrible. You brought us a bunch of junk, and now I have to figure it out, and I did the best I could. Always remain professional, positive, and constructive in all responses. And as a matter of fact, to ensure that you protect your client's privacy, be as general as positive, as, as possible. Show clients that you're always there to help them. I think I have a couple of examples of it, but really make sure that you're showing them a response that says, I'm always willing to help. I am really sorry that you had that experience with us. Please call us to go resolve that. If you had a bad experience with us, please contact us. We want to make that right right away. And then when you do make it right, and by the way, you do need to do that um, because you want to keep that customer in many more, then you say, I'm glad we took care of it. Would you mind leaving or uh, you know, fixing, changing your review or better yet, removing it? A person can remove a review that they sent to you. You can't unless it's fraudulent, but they can. And then number three, transparency. 90% of consumers suspect fake reviews if they don't see any bad scores. So if I see, and I talked about that, the number one is a 4.0 ranking. If you have a 5.0 ranking, I have 200 reviews and all of them are excellent. People know that that's really um, not, that you know, that's potentially fake. That's potentially not true because no one is perfect. So don't be afraid to have people comment about your business. You know, I really wish, you know, the firm, we had a, you know, a good engagement. I wish, I wish that they would answer the phone a little bit faster. Sometimes it's hard to get back to them. That's a negative comment or that's a 4.0 rating. Leave that there. Don't push on that because it gives you an opportunity to say something like, I really appreciate you giving me that feedback and we're going to do a better job of answering the phone on time. Here's some more things that you should do. Diminish the effect of negative reviews. You can, you can push down negative reviews by ensuring that you get more positive reviews than you get negative reviews. So make sure that you communicate with your customers, especially the ones that are happy, that you want to get more reviews. Get a lot of reviews, make sure that they're positive reviews, and I'll talk to you about how you can manage those. Here's just an example. Um, here's a Facebook comment. I'm not so sure. Yeah, these are these are not real, but they're examples. Um, here's here's some someone named Kate who said, "Beware of this firm." Well, that's a really, really tough thing for them to say. I received incorrect tax information. They were unprofessional. I do not want to come back. Well, that would be really bad. And they hashtagged it, which really you know <laughs> really makes it bad. But here was the response: We're sorry to hear you had a bad experience. We can't comment. Make sure that you don't talk about their specific case because that just causes more problems but we want to make things right and we're going to reach out to reach out to you right away and if they don't respond in that review you know you can follow up that says you know kate kate i you know i appreciate you taking the time the other day i hope that we work things out if that's true please let us know here's a yelp review a positive review a lot of firms do not respond to positive reviews and they said that Here's a great review that says ABC is accounting is extremely knowledgeable about tax. And so here is, I highly recommend them. Wow, that's positive. But if you didn't respond to that, do you know how that person feels? Because most of us are narcissistic. I did, you didn't even respond. I sent you a referral. I think I'm important. And you didn't even respond. You must respond and say, thank you so much. Really committed to providing great service. Happy to be of help. And by the way, thank you for being a great client. You may think that that's sometimes not, you know, not genuine, but to those who are reading it, shows that you have some transparency, that you're paying attention, and that you have positive customers. I just want to spend just a minute talking about reputation marketing by our firm. If you're a customer of ours, we've made it easy already in your website for you to be able to get reviews and publish them. And it's this simple. On your website, you can put a page that's called uh, reviews, client reviews on your website. Our team can add that page to you at no additional cost. And if you don't have it, you should get it right away. But you're, But you can... Your clients can, just by you asking them, remember I talked about sending them an email, you send them an email and say, would you mind just going to our website, to our client reviews page and leave a website, I mean, leave a review. 
your clients can go to your website and submit a review right there on your website. Here is the thing. They can post that review on your website and then you can post and you can ask them to post that review on other sites. So if your client rates your firm with four or five stars, a little pop-up shows up and says, hey, thanks for the great review. Would you mind sharing that review on other sites and give them a link to your locations on Google or Facebook? That way they can, you can make it easy for them to communicate to outside review sites. Here's the beauty of it as well. You can always see when someone leaves a website through the review manager. As part of your product, you have a review manager and you will get an email notification and it'll show up in your review manager with a link from that email where you can decide if you want to put it back on your website. So if it's a positive review, all you have to do is click a button and it'll be posted back to your website. So that prospective clients can easily see reviews. Here's some other benefits. It's changing content on your website, which helps your search rankings. It's providing opportunities for other people to see feedback from your clients. And it's helping you manage what you're putting on your website. So we provide this functionality for you at no additional charge. We also, in the past year, added another feature called reputation monitoring. So reputation marketing or the feature that's in your website encourages people to send reviews, but other people send re go and send reviews right on Yelp or Google Plus or your LinkedIn page. But are you watching all of those? Are you watching all the different locations where reviews are coming in? Well, with our reputation monitoring feature, we also monitor outside review sites for your firm on your behalf, and we send you an alert anytime someone leaves a review on Google, Yelp, or any other review site that we decide jointly to add to your list of sites to monitor. Then you get an alert, and back in the review manager, we show you that review, and you can send the client an email. You can respond to that review. If it's a positive review, you can push that review back to your website and make an entire cycle of communication with your clients, with outside review sites, all from using your website, all from using the um, all from using reputation monitoring. So if you get a review on Yelp, you'll see it on your dashboard. So you don't have to go to Yelp and Google Plus and Facebook to see it. We will bring all of those reviews into your review manager, and then you can decide whether or not you want to push them, you want to respond to them, or push them on your website. The key is making sure you immediately respond to client feedback, and then showcase positive reviews on your website. So I hope that you can see just in this little brief 30-minute presentation that, and I hope you understand that reviews, your reputation is very important online because even if it means only three or four more clients in a given year, that's a huge opportunity for you that is potentially missed and you want to take advantage of that. Number two, it's important for your search engine rankings. Also, there's ways for you to get more positive reviews and professional ways for you to, to push down or respond to negative reviews. And CPA Site Solutions has tools for you to be able to help, to help you be able to see or, or get reviews, to get more reviews, and then to monitor the ones that you have. So I'm going to take a minute to take questions. As I said at the top of this meeting, um, there's a questions box in your GoToWebinar um, user interface, your GoToWebinar panel, and all you have to do is leave those questions or write those questions out, and I'll take a the time to answer them, um, either uh, primarily online, but I'll answer them online for anyone who wants to, um, wants to ask questions. And if there's just a question for your particular firm, don't hesitate to ask me that as well. I thank everyone for, for joining this webinar. I'll stay online for a while um, and take questions.